I've been asked if I mind showing my Panther router. This is it. The power unit. I'll put links in the description, I think. Got it off eBay, about 35 quid. It's got a 4mm chuck. It runs off 24 volt off the power supply that comes with it. Um, it claims to be good for 0 0.03 to 4mm tools, which I find to be pretty accurate. And it runs up to, I think, 20 or 25,000 riffs per minute. The panther out itself is nothing too clever. I've got it mounted on a track. A door, a sliding door runner that's mounted on the back of my bench. So, in theory, I can do things virtually the five foot length of my bench. As it is, it's got a two to one reduction ratio, meaning if you move the stylus two inches, that will move two inches. If you lift it a millimetre, that will lift half a millimetre. These two rods. If you were to take them out, put these holes over there, put the rods back in, that would run at a 3 to 1 reduction ratio. Where that comes in handy is if you have a pattern over here, say a paper pattern or whatever, you can produce work, theoretically you can produce work that's smaller than you can see. That cutter that's in, which I've just knocked that out with, uh, that's 0 0.6 millimeter, which is the smallest of this set. These are very cheap. Uh, they're from China, as usual. But you've also got engraving bits, engraving burrs, such as things like that. Uh, plus the Dremel tools, of course, they'll all fit in, although they're a little bit big for that. And you've got the glass engraving diamond coated burrs. So you've got a wide variety of tools that go with it. It works on aluminium, wood, perspex. Ah, that's something. It's variable speed, which is essential if you're going to start cutting acrylic or any sort of plastic, really. Um, the stylus has got a 6mm thread on it, so however much you turn this on the 2 to 1 setting, your depth set can be set very accurately. So, I would normally tape stuff down, but if I was just doing something quick, put that on there, set the depth setting so that it's halfway through the anti-slip mat, and you can quite happily cut a piercing cut in 3mm ply with the very finest tool. It's worse than a scroll saw for grabbing. Um, it wants to go with the grain, there's no two ways about it. And you have to make a deliberate effort to force it across grain. I mean, having said that, it's something and nothing, you do get used to it. The bigger tools that ball end burr for example that really does grab going across the grain so you do need to keep a lot of control over it but having said that because of the 2 to 1 reduction ratio you're doing big movements here for tiny movements over there so I did the like mad I have a medical condition that makes me shake but because your hands resting on the table all the time I find it remarkably easy to control. You get a good area of movement, obviously because it's on the slider, you get even more. You can go totally bananas. Uh, it's been sized, if I just zoom out a little bit I think, oh no you can still see it. It's been built to a size where 
I can use the full width of the table, which means that my workpiece can be 300 millimeters wide by as long as I want. Um, that's about all there is to say about it. It's built out of 12 mil ply with bits of 3 mm ply just to make it a little bit more rigid. 4 mm stainless steel rods, although there's no earthly reason why there should be stainless steel. The whole thing goes away at the back of my bench very neatly. It generally just lives up that corner there, but if you notice my light travels with it, so wherever I go, I've always got the light in the spot that I want, which is nice. Um, that's about it. I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask, but I'm about to get a new scroll saw, so don't ask for any in-depth uh, videos of me using it. That's the last thing that I used it for. It was for the wife. She's she's nuts on big cats, so I just did that on a bit of a breadboard for her. The, the deepest cut is probably about a millimetre and a half on that, if that. Uh, it could have gone deeper, but it would have taken you twice as long, of course. It's not really for piercing all the way through in anything thicker than 3mm. Uh, with a 0.6mm cutter in, no, it's not as thin as a scroll saw, but with a scroll saw, you can't just pick it up and dot the eye like I've just done. So it swings and round about, you pays your money and takes your choice I suppose. So that's it. That's me 3 3D Panther Router, as Matthias Swandell likes to call it. Mine's a lot smaller than his of course, built with a smaller power supply, but the same thing can be built on the scale as Matthias's, which has a trimmer outer in. So that's it. Hope you found it interesting. Cheerio.